and hello YouTube, GS Mam Smart here, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make your voice sound better in Audacity with three simple effects. That's coming up next. What's up guys, GS Mam Smart here. Today with another brand new video for tutorials with GS, and thanks for stopping by for another one of my videos. Glad to have you. If you haven't been new to the channel, new to any of my videos, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. We have plenty of other Audacity tutorials, but a lot of other tutorials regarding the design, graphic design, image editing, audio editing, video editing, movie maker tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, motion graphic design, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in technology or creativity, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell. So so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. Here we are in Audacity. Now, one thing I want to make clear from the start is that I do have another video already on my channel showing you how to make your voice sound better like studio quality. Now that video is geared towards people who want to do a bit more high production things. Uh, if you're doing a music video, if you're doing a song, if you're doing a rap song, if you're doing um, more high quality podcast. If you want to have more control over the effects that we're going to be using, if you want to use reverb, if you want to be a bit more detailed around the effects, then you want to check that video out because it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit longer and it has a bit more complicated effects that we're using. So I have a card on screen right now. You can go check that one out. And the link is also in the description. However, this video today that we're going to be showing you is all about making your voice sound better generally. If you're doing a simple podcast, if you're doing a simple YouTube video, if you're doing an audio recording for a voiceover for a video, if you're doing a school project that requires you to, you know, record some piece of audio, then this will generally make your voice sound better. So there are three effects that I want to show you today that can generally make your voice sound better. The other note that I want to make sure you're, you're aware about is that it's important to have a decent microphone. Microphone. If you are on a super poor quality microphone that's built into your laptop or you have a headset that's half broken and things don't sound very well, there's a lot of scratchy noises, there's a lot of background noise, then Audacity can only do so much for you. It can only enhance your audio so much before you start losing clarity in your voice. So the thing is to have a half decent microphone because if it's too terrible of a microphone, nothing will work at all. Audacity can't even fix it. So I'm using a Blue Yeti right now. Not the most expensive microphone, not the cheapest either though. It's a half decent microphone. So I think most modern laptops have a pretty decent microphone built in. So everyone should be fine. But for those few individuals that have a really poor headset or a really poor microphone, uh, you can only do so much with Audacity. So we're gonna go and do a quick sample recording here. What's up everybody, GS Mam Smart here to do another brand new video for tutorials with GS showing you how to use Audacity. Thanks for watching. So there's our voice recording and you'll see that when we play this back, there's actually quite a bit of background noise. So even my microphone still has that issue. So don't feel bad if yours also has that issue. Let's take a listen to how it sounds before. What's up everybody, GS Mam Smart here through another brand new video for tutorials with GS showing you how to use Audacity. Thanks for watching. So the first thing you want to do, and this is optional, this is not part of three step process, but if you have background noise, you want to get rid of it. So I do have a whole video on noise reduction and audacity. If you want a bit more detailed explanation, this is a more in-depth explanation of how this effect works. There's a card on screen right now, as well as a link in the description. You can watch that video. Otherwise, we're just going to blow through this real quick because it's not really that important. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my noise. That's a good segment. I'm going to go to effects, noise reduction get my noise profile, effects again, noise reduction, and we'll press OK on my preset that I have here. Then the next thing you want to do, and this is the first step in improving your voice quality. If you needed to do, if you needed to do noise reduction, great. If you don't need to do it, then you could have skipped it. But the number one step everyone should do is do some equalization. So go to effects, go to equalization. And what you want to do is uh, go to your graphic, if you want to work with the graphic version, you can, and you can sort of uh, make the curve that you're looking for. Otherwise, I like to use the regular normal one. So just try to match what I'm doing here. As long as you match it somewhat close to it, you should be okay. So, so here you can zoom in and zoom out of your frequencies, but nothing too crazy. And we want to go ahead and boost the high end frequencies and boost the low end frequencies here. So we're going to go ahead and make a dot here and we're going to make a dot here and then just sort of move it up so that our high frequencies are louder and the same with our low frequencies. We're going to do the same thing 
and just bring them up a tad right around there, I think will do. And you'll see that the graphical equivalent of that looks something like this. Then I'm going to go and press OK on that and that'll add our equalization effect. Next step, step number two, is to normalize your audio. Now because Audacity doesn't have a normalized effect, amplification does the exact same thing. Make sure you have this set to 0.0, .0 press OK, and that'll amplify your audio to a 0.0, .0 peak so it doesn't go past that and it's loud enough. Then I'm going to affect again. Step three is going to be to do some compression. So go to the compressor here, copy down these values here. Uh, the only one that really can change depending on how it sounds, you can use a three to one ratio here, or you can use a five to one ratio. For some people, five to one sounds better. For other people, three to one sounds better. So pick one of those ratios and you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and choose a five to one and see how that sounds. Maybe we want to go back to a three to one. We'll see. And the last step, if you feel like your waves are a bit too loud and there's too much going on and you want to have a bit more room to work with them in the future when you're doing post-production editing and your video editing software, or you want to play around the volume a bit more later on, then I would de-amplify all this by three. Go to effect, amplify, make sure your new peak value is negative three. Press OK, and it gives you a bit more headroom to work with the audio here. As you see, you have more room at the top and bottom of the waveform here and that'll give you some more room to work with. Otherwise, you don't need to de-amplify anymore. So those are the three steps. You wanna equalize, normalize, or amplify in this case, and then use the compressor. Now, if we listen to this, you'll see there's actually a clear difference. What's up, everybody? GS Mam Smart here to another brand new video for Tutorials with GS showing you how to use Audacity. Thanks for watching. So as you can see, a lot less noise beginning. There's a few clunking around here for my background noise, which you can easily just delete. But in general, there's not a lot of background noise anymore. And my voice just sounds a bit more clear. It sounds a bit louder. It sounds a bit more fatter. The waveforms sound better. So we take a listen to before and after. Let's just go ahead and make a copy of this. And then we'll control Z back to what we had, which is this. Then we'll go to a new track, add new stereo track and we'll paste in. This is our before, this is our after. Let's take a listen. Before first. What's up everybody, GS Mam Smart here to do another brand new video for Tutorials with GS showing you how to use Audacity. Thank What's up everybody, GS Mam Smart here to do another brand new video for Tutorials with GS showing you how to use Audacity. So as you can see, it, it makes a huge difference actually. And you know, some people might think this is too loud. And yes, it, sometimes it can feel a bit too loud, but when you're doing your video editing, you can always lower the volume. So that's the tutorial for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it helpful. This is how to generally make your voice sound better. If you're doing simple stuff, if you're doing, if you just wanna generally increase your voice quality, then these are the three steps you wanna do. If you found it helpful, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or feedback to make it even better, leave a comment down below and make sure you check that comment section. We're all here to learn. There might be some pretty smart people down there who have some better ideas than I do, and uh, they might work really well too. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials on the channel. Plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding other creative software as well. And if you want to check out my most recent video, click the annotation here. Want to check out a similar video to this one, click the annotation here. Want to subscribe to this channel or my other channels, click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can click the annotation here. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSMail Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.